Well, an Austin police officer who shot and killed an unarmed teen last month has waived his right to a disciplinary hearing. Through his attorney, Officer Jeffrey Freeman says he's already answered all the questions there are about his shooting 17-year-old David Joseph, who is reported to be running naked in the street, creating a disturbance. Freeman also claims in this letter, Chief Art Acevedo appears to have already pre-decided the case based on his statements to the media and Joseph's family, is how he worded it. Meantime, KXAN's David Scott reports the family was given a briefing today by APD and by the DA's office about the findings of the teen's autopsy. Police say David Joseph was acting bizarre, erratic, but we may never know why. The family was told Friday there was Xanax, antihistamines, and marijuana in his system, but nothing more dangerous like PCP. A family friend and community activist believes this supports the conclusion the officer committed an unwarranted use of force. These are um, drugs that don't cause you to, you know, act, you know, crazy or act, you know, um, um, in a rush. If anything, they're proven to make you slow down. They're, they're proven to make you have a, a delayed reaction, if anything. The family was also told it appears, because of a lack of gunshot residue on the body, that the officer and Joseph were some feet apart. There was no close-up struggle. Chaz Moore believes that further suggests deadly force was not needed. The, the lack of the option being used there uh, with the tasers is, one, a red flag, and two, the, the fact that David Joseph was so far back is, is also problematic, right? Like, yeah. if he's so far back, you still felt the need to shoot this kid? That doesn't make any sense. Joseph's brother, Folly, released a statement saying police should have helped someone in his brother's state, not shot him. David Scott, KXAN News. Now, the David Joseph case is now essentially in the hands of Chief Art Acevedo. Again, Officer Freeman is declining to appear at Monday's disciplinary hearing. He, if he is indefinitely suspended or fired, essentially, he would have 10 days to appeal. That process could take up to six months.